time to launch Monday's episode of The Trucker's Table. Let's catch it out, see what's happening. We are loaded Friday morning. Uh, I think it's around 8 o'clock. So we're getting out of here around the time we wanted to. Holy Toledo. Could anything go wrong with that? Could anything go wrong with that? <laughs> oh, you know what that is? That's those Stanley toolbox totes. With the wheels, it looks kind of like a cooler. But it's, I think they're, I think it's a toolbox tote. That's what it looks like. Anyway, they're super light. The whole load is only 8,000 pounds. So maybe they won't fall over. <laughs> if they do, they're supposed to be tough, right? Anyway, it's a drop and hook in Houston. And I am not leaving my strap in the back of this thing. They should have figured something out. Uh, 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 come on, seal. Seal. I think I need two hands. Y'all hold on. Uh, put you right there. Right. So we seal this baby up. There we go. Click it, tick it. Don't get a ticket. <laughs> so anyway, whew, got a tandem slid all the way up. Hopefully we won't have to slide them when we get to the receiver. Cause that is a, I have to take a rubber strap every time and pull them out as far as I can to get it to release when I rock it. Old raggedy trailer, somebody mess with it. Anyway, we're gonna get rolling. We're gonna get down to Dodge City and get some fuel and get on over to Meridian, get some more fuel <laughs> and get our butt to Houston. Come on, let's go. So, Dad, I don't think they changed the trash since the last time we was here. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. It's a Landstar Express America. And doesn't that truck look just like um, Jason and Heather who had the uh, the M2? Looks a lot like their old truck, don't it? I wonder if it is. Huh. Did they sell somebody truck to, uh, to somebody at Landstar? Or somebody coming over to Landstar? Hurry up, Ducky, shake a leg, buddy. We gotta go. We're only doing a 30 minute break. All right, so try to stay out of that water. Look at all the water down there. You can tell it's been raining. I saw something a while ago when we were pulling up and where did it go? There, I think that's it right there. Oh, let's see. Uh, Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There it is. Check that out. That's a Landstar. Check it out, he's got the old T600 Kenworth and he expanded the sleeper. I mean, I think you could do that yourself if you got a little bit of mechanical inclination because you can see uh, right here where he come, added this part on. Yeah. Did a pretty, looks like a pretty good job from here. Got a headache rack on the back and everything. Got his own trailer. I wonder if that's a 48 foot. That looks kind of short. But yeah, making that big money over here at Landstar. Hurry up, Ducky, shake it buddy. We gotta go. Ducky, hurry up. Don't think I won't leave you here. There's enough Landstar drivers around here. One of them will get you back home. <laughs> I noticed when uh, the Crafties take um, Abby and Tyson out, they always go, uh, let's go potty, let's go potty. You know, P O, and then she'll spell it to Jason, right? Like P-O-T-T-Y. <laughs> uh, does everybody do that? I mean, if you got a dog, and you want to take your dog out, do you have a little thing that you do? Like, uh, come on, let's go outside, let's go pee pee poop poop. That's what I do with Ducky, I say, come on, let's go pee pee poop poop. <laughs> he knows exactly what I'm talking about. 
Yeah, he's taking care of business right now. <laughs> he's good about that. He doesn't waste a whole lot of time. It seems like he knows when we have time to kill and he'll take his time and, and go around. But like right now he knows we're in a hurry. So he's already took care of business. He's just waiting to see if I'm gonna call him back. <laughs> Come on, boy. Dad, Dad. Come on. Come on, you better hurry up. I'm gonna leave without you. I'm leaving without you. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> Watch him, he'll cut underneath all the trailers, probably. Oh, there you go. He's right behind me. Where'd he go? There he is. Say, come on, Dad, shake a leg. Let's go. We gotta go. Here, I'll turn around. Nice. Yeah. See, so they did a good job putting it together. Yeah. That's one of those money makers over at Last Stop. Ducky, where you going? Come on. Yeah. And here's the other one I was saying about. Let's just let Taylor and Jason tell me. Eat the puppy. Eat the puppy, Dad. You see the puppy? Dad. See the puppy? See the puppy? See where, Dad? I don't see no puppy. <laughs> Come on. Come on, let's go. We gotta go. Come on, we gotta shake a leg. Unless you wanna go get a bath. You wanna go get a bath? No, you ready to go? Okay. All right, we'll catch up with y'all later. Looks like it's turning into a land star love fest. <laughs> Looks like another one backing in. One right here. And I don't know if you can see it. One right there. <laughs> That's a land star step deck. Landstar drive-in, Landstar drive-in, Landstar drive-in. <laughs> and the duck man, give, me, give him a minute, give him a minute. He's almost presentable. He's almost presentable. All right, he's presentable. <laughs> What's that, Dad, Dad? Say, thanks for not embarrassing me, Dad. <laughs> you better stay out of that water. Uh, I was hoping I'd get some sleep. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, we're parked here at the Petro. Just on the other side of these trucks is the Petro, the Speedco, the Pilot, the Days Inn. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> anyway, we were parked over yonder by the Fuel Island. And I thought we was parked in a spot, but obviously I guess we were parked just outside of a spot. So some woman, I use the term loosely, came up, beat on my door like, <laughs> this ain't a parking spot. Are you just doing a 30 minute break? Otherwise you gotta go. <laughs> free parking's over here, paid parking's back there. Eh, I knew free, I knew free parking was probably full. So when I circle around, come back around here to back in over here, I saw two spots and they were both super tight to try to get into. So I was like, nah, screw that. I just went ahead and paid for a spot. I use ultra credits anyway, so it ain't like it cost me any cash or any points. It just cost me ultra credits, shower credits. <laughs> so anyway, we're parked. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do a 10 hour break. And what we'll do then is, um, We'll get up at, let's see, we got parked a little bit before six. So we'll get up, leave out of here around 4 a.m. or a little before it in the morning. We're about five hours from where we got to deliver in Houston, maybe less. And uh, we'll drive over there, hopefully be over there about nine o'clock in the morning. And uh, I can't believe somebody's backing in that spot over there. I was gonna back in over there, but I, I didn't think it was a spot. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be over there in the morning, hopefully by 9 a.m., maybe a little bit before, drop in hook, <laughs> shoot on down to Laporte, and pick up down there, and then start heading back this way. Probably gonna run 10 back across over to Theodore, and run 65 up out of Mobile to Montgomery, 85 up to Atlanta, and then on up in the Greer. And uh, we got us two more loads booked. Yeah, boy! <laughs> 
uh, I'm not going to talk about them now. Maybe in the next clip after I got confirmation, because when I called about the loads, two call, two loads, one call, <laughs> same agency. Uh, anyway, uh, he was at home. He didn't have everything right there, but he said, "You own the load. I got your truck number, got your name, got your phone number, got everything." And I've hauled for these people lots of times, so I know they got all my information. So anyway, hopefully we got them, and it's going to be awesome. I'll tell you this: I'm picking up, driving up there. Drop hook, same facility, back down. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet if it works out. Three dollars a mile going up, three fifty coming back. So keep your fingers crossed it works out. Anyway, we're gonna go get in the truck, and if it works out, I'll find out probably tomorrow. I'll let y'all know. All right, so y'all don't go nowhere. Hang around. We'll see. Ooh. Well, we made it to Houston, and we're here at the Home Depot uh, drop lot. Uh, we're dropping our loaded trailer. Basically, go pick up our empty trailer. And uh, then we got to book it down to Laporte. Pick up our load there. I think we'll get there somewhere between 10 and 10.30. Because right now, it ain't even 9 o'clock yet. So, let's see what we can do. Uh, we still got to ride around finding an empty trailer. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk back here on the back road. And I'm gonna walk up and down, see if I see any on that back road before I start riding around. That way I don't waste my drive time. So let's get that done, and then we'll check back in with y'all as soon as we get us a trailer. All right, don't go nowhere. Go get him, Duck. Go get him, Duck. What you doing? What you doing, Duck, Duck? What you doing? So I'm out of here, Dad. So I'm playing hide and go seek. <laughs> go get him, duck. Yeah. What you doing? What is it? What is it? Say where we at, dude? This is crazy. Say we in La Pot. We are in La Pot, Texas. <laughs> dude, you better stay on this grass. Yeah, you better stay on the grass. There you go. <laughs> oh, he cracks me up, don't he? I love that grass. So let's see if we can zoom in on the grass. Look at that grass. That's the kind of grass I want at the house. It's so nice and soft and dark green. Oh, it's nice. That's the kind of grass they have at Publix. A lot of the Publix uh, we go to. I park right next to the curb. And then when I get out, I step off on that grass. Oh, it feels so good. Come here, Dad. Stay over here. Go get us in trouble. You ain't even supposed to be outside the truck. That's one of the rules they had up there. No, uh, no pets outside the truck. But I don't know. I figure we'll wait. All this grass, I hate to see it go to waste. <laughs> There's the loads right over there. If it's a heavy load, we can stop there and axle out before we get too far down the road. Yeah, we're just chilling out here. Wait for the old phone call. They're supposed to call us. I wonder if my ringer's turned on. I might have turned it off. If we, oh, there it goes. I turned it back on. <laughs> I had my ringer turned off. I hope he ain't already tried to call me. I probably need to uh, check and see. But anyway, yeah, we made it over here. Our appointment was at 10.10. I mean, I'm sorry, at 10 a.m. And we got here at 10.10. So we're a few minutes late. But uh, no big deal. I think they... Uh, <laughs> What are you doing, Dad? So, so I got distracted, Dad. So I was going to charge, but then I heard the horn blow. And I was like, whoop <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to get him back in the truck before I get in trouble. And uh, make me some lunch. Because we're going to be driving until we run out of hours. <laughs> I guess. I mean, more likely, that's what I'll do. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's see where we're at. And uh, 
because I, I looked at my hours. I thought I had 16 hours. I actually had a little, a smidge over 17. So uh, if I don't screw up too bad with the hours I'm getting back and everything else. Uh, oh, I need to check also and see if I got my Raycon. As soon as I get the Raycon, I'll let y'all in and let you know about the loads that we booked, um, picking up in the Carolinas and uh and everything that we're going to be running next week that's going to get us home so uh let me go jump off here check my email check see if i missed the call and we'll check back in with y'all after we get loaded all right all right all right we got a load we got a load finally it took over two hours <laughs> man slide those stand up oh easy peasy right. yeah uh we can do the eight two. Got interrupted with a telemarketer call. I've only gotten about fifty of them this week. Holy crap! Look at that. That looks heavy. That looks heavy. Lucky for us. There's a Loves right next door, so we'll go over there to that Loves and uh, axle out before we get on the big road. Make sure we're good before we get too far down the road. We're not. We'll come back and let them fix it up for us. Uh. All right, I gotta let y'all go. I gotta close this door. It takes two hand systems to give me a mess. Anyway, we'll talk to you some more once we get to where we're going. Well, when we get to where we're gonna take our break tonight. How about that? All right, we'll talk to you later. Well, I found Ducky some good grass. <laughs> it's a busy intersection though. Uh, we're here in. Uh, I want to say this is Crowley. I'm pretty sure this is Crowley, Louisiana. There's a Lowe's distribution, a Lowe's over there. And there's a Walmart over here on the other side of this building is a Walmart, a big, huge Walmart parking lot. Walmart trailer just dropped. This is a USA, let's see. US agencies they uh they're closed right now and they're not gonna be open back up till monday so i didn't see the big deal in staying here for because i'm only only got six hours and 30 minutes left on my eight hour break so you know i'm not even staying after midnight I, by midnight i'll be gone <laughs> so and I just came from inside Walmart, I bought $90 worth of groceries, man. You know, and I only want to park for eight hours. Crap. That's over $10 an hour to park. <laughs> it's only what, $18, $14, something like that at the truck stop? That's crazy. So anyway, I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> so he comes and tells me to move. He comes and tells me to move. The only thing I can do is use PC and PC I saw somebody come and PC down the road to the truck stop or back to the other truck stop. You know, that's all I know to do. I mean, that, the whole end of this parking lot, this Walmart, wide open. There's nothing, nobody even parked back there. And then there's like a game stop and a Cricket Wireless over there in the corner. And behind them, that whole section back there, not one car parked in that whole, you could park 10 trucks over there easy. Not one car parked over there. But they got signs all up around the place when you're coming in. It says no truck parking, no overnight parking, you know, all that stuff. And I mean, come on, man. <laughs> How's it, how'd this stuff get to your store? It didn't come in on no train. It didn't come in on no drone. It didn't come in a four wheeler. You know, people like me brought that stuff here. I mean, I'm in a bind, you know, traffic's crazy out here. It's, it's, it's better now than it was. But a while ago when I jumped off, it was crazy. And I was down to like two gallons of water. So I need to stop and get me and Decky some water. Plus a few other little grocery items, you know, some half and half, stuff like that. So, I don't know. I'm not bothering nobody. I ain't even got the truck crunk up. You, you don't hear it running, do you? It ain't even crunk up. The generator ain't even running. Until the batteries get low, the generator won't even come on. And I got the windows down, so it's cool breeze blowing through, you know. 
Man, come on, man. Cut us truckers some break, a break. Plus, it's the weekend. Come on. <laughs> uh, anyway, I wanted to try to make it over close to Hammond, but traffic was just too bad. Late, we hit Lake Charles. Boom, shut down. <laughs> I sat there for 10 minutes before traffic started moving again. But once it started moving, it moving fast. So, anyway, a leaf. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stay here until they tell me to leave and uh, try to finish out my break. Because I want to do that eight hour break, start back driving at midnight. And because uh, I stopped at four o'clock. So if I start back at midnight, it's eight hour break. I did a two hour break over in uh, Laporte. I'll be able to drive at least five and a half, almost six hours and uh, or more. And that'll get me all the way over past Grand Bay up on I-65 somewhere. And um, I get up that way somewhere, stop, do a two hour break, and then pick up some more hours and uh, see how far that gets me. If that gets me all the way up there, or if I have to stop and do another break. But uh, I may have to do another two and another eight hour break before this is all said and done, I don't know. So it may end up with me getting up there to where I gotta deliver like at midnight or early in the morning or something, Monday morning, I don't know. But uh, as long as I got time to make it to High Point to pick that load up, I think they're pretty flexible up there in how. So if I got there late Tuesday afternoon, I don't think they'd say anything. Uh, Cause it's a drop and hook and back down to Auburn and I ain't gotta be in Auburn till uh, Thursday and I'm, I'm doing the drop and hook Wednesday, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Tuesday, supposedly Tuesday afternoon. So, you know, 600 and something miles, two days to do it. That should be easy. And I've, 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 I've sat there with a pen and paper and wrote down all the hours I was getting back, all the hours it was going to take me to drive based off of like a 60 mile an hour average, somewhere near 65, something like that. And I still had three or four hours left over after I did all that. So I think we're gonna be good getting back to Auburn, Georgia. And I need about two hours left on my clock when I get back to Auburn to go up to, well, hopefully. To, oh, I didn't tell y'all did it. Okay, we ain't even talked about, oh man, I'm sorry. We were supposed to talk about those loads and I forgot. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, we gotta do a little bit of deadheading now, but hold on, let me explain my, my, my logic in this. All right, so I got a deadhead about 160 miles to run from Greer up to High Point, North Carolina. And I'm gonna load up there and I'm going up to Howe, Indiana. I hate going up I-77, awful fuel mileage, heavy load, mountains, it sucks. Slows me down, I lose time, I'll probably lose an hour just up there. Anyway, we get to Howe, Indiana, we're at the same facility. So when we do a drop and hook, we're dropping and hooking one PTI, one one little, you know, eight minutes or whatever it takes to drop and hook. I'm dropping a loaded, picking up a loaded, and going right back down to Georgia. So no deadhead, none. Maybe a hundred yards, <laughs> if that, probably less than that. So you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now you take that 160 miles of deadhead and you divide it by two, 80 miles. Come on now, 80 miles ain't that far to deadhead, if you think about it. So, uh, Three dollars going up, three fifty coming back down. Really good paying load. The one picking up at Baron uh, Dalton going back down to Bainbridge is the one I'm going to try to get. We're going to see. I'm going to call about it Monday morning. Um, like I said, it picks up in uh, Dalton, Georgia. Goes back to Bainbridge. I live 20 minutes from Bainbridge, so that'll be awesome if I can get that load, get me to the house, and uh, we'll see. Uh, and then I'll be home Friday morning. Like that? I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> but we'll uh, just keep our fingers crossed on that one. Uh, but the other two, I'm locked in. Boom. And see, I haul a lot of freight for these folks up there out of how. So, and I've done that Auburn load before, so I know exactly where to go, who to talk to, where to check in, everything. I know I got it down pat now. So uh, we'll be good on that load. And uh, come right back down. Uh, oh, no, I think we'll come down 75 probably through Cincinnati, so I had to go around the Beltway, because that bridge is still shut down, I believe, in Cincinnati. But anyway, I got it mapped out in my head. I think I can do everything and still be home. 
If I have to, I ain't gonna lie to you. If I have to, I'm gonna deadhead from, <laughs> from Auburn, Georgia to, uh, uh-oh. Going to get somebody. Uh oh. Come on, Bob. Hmm. Oh well. I hope it's okay. There you go. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, if I have to, if I can't get a load back to the house, I'll just, I'll deadhead from Auburn, Georgia, man. That's up there by Atlanta. I'll deadhead all the way to the house. I don't care. <laughs> you know, when it comes to getting home, when I say I'm going to be home, I'm, I get home. I find a way to get home. And don't get me wrong. I saw some loads. I saw a load picking up in McDonough, Georgia, going to Jacksonville. I can run that, make a little money. You know, enough fuel money to at least get here to the house from Jacksonville, you know. So, we'll see. Uh, but uh, I need, between now and then, if I, I'm going to call Monday, though, and try to get that load. He's laying over and go, oh, he's okay, he's having fun. Yeah, I see you having fun. Soft grass. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's a trip. Anyway, um, I'm going to talk to Katie and see if she has anything coming out of Columbus because, you know, it'd be a little bit out of route, but I could dead head over to Columbus, drop my loaded, not loaded, drop my empty trailer there where I'm going to pick up at, go on to the house for a couple of days, and then come back. Or I might could even park my truck there and leave it and rent a car and go home. You know, I mean, I got options. I got things I can do. It's highly, well, I can't do that. What am I talking about? I can't do that. The truck's got to come home with me because it's going to be in the parade. That's the whole reason we're going home. We put the truck in the parade. <laughs> Where's my head at? <laughs> Is it here? Yep, it's still here. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to jump in the truck, fix some dinner, and uh, fix the duck man his dinner. You ready for me to fix your dinner? You want to tell everybody, hey, come on. Come on, let's go tell everybody hey. Oh. Oh. Say, what's up, everybody? Say, pause up, pause up. Say, pause up. Say, pause up, everybody. Say, is my dad acting right? Is he doing what he's supposed to do? Is he telling y'all some good information? <laughs> he loves his daddy. Don't you do that? Say, maybe. Depends if you give me some chicken jerky. <laughs> oh, I forgot to buy him some chicken jerky. <sighs> he's out. He's got beef jerky. And he's got uh, beef, I think it's beef lungs. I think it's what it is. And he's got bully sticks. So he's still got treats. And he's got those hip and joint little small treats. So he's got plenty of treats. He ain't out of treats. But what I do is I take his dog food, right, and I dump it in the bowl. And I got this special, it's called Nutri Thrive. And I sprinkle that over top of his food. And he don't want to eat it, right? So what I do is, dang, I knew there was something I forgot to buy. I was supposed to buy more daggum chicken stock. Anyway, I pour a little bit of chicken stock on it. And he loves it. Oh, it's so good. He gobbles it up like that. <laughs> so I forgot to buy him some more chicken stock. Daggum it. I should have made a daggum grocery list before I went inside. Anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go. I've been rambling on for over 11 minutes. Y'all don't go nowhere. Hang around. We'll find out what's coming next. What are you doing, buddy? So just walking along the fence, Dad. I'll catch you later. <laughs> And he's already been all the way down yonder, back around. And then he came down to that end and back. Yeah, we're at the Petro in Carnesville. And right over there, on the other side of those pine trees, 
is the uh, Landstar Orientation Center, the new one they just built. And we are gonna try, if we have time, to go over there and check it out. Uh, we're here at the shop now. We're gonna get our fuel filters changed. And uh, if you look at this picture right here, <laughs> you can see why I gotta get the fuel filters changed. The, uh, the fuel is all the way to the top of the globe. So, uh, uh oh, he's charging, he's charging. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so I made it there and I didn't even fall out. So right, now I'm out of breath. You feel better? Yeah, you feel better? What you gonna do? Look at that. What is it? What is it? <laughs> oh, he's a curious one, I tell you that. He's always looking around, trying to figure out what's going on. I just gave him a greenie, clean his teeth and his breath. Uh, I try to give him one a week. Uh, I want to get the truck washed too, because just on the other side of there is the blue beacon. So I'm thinking, and maybe a shower <laughs> while we're here too. So I'm thinking, uh, they said it's going to be a couple of hours on the getting in the fuel island. So I'm thinking about creeping around to the fuel island, not fuel island, around to the uh, Blue Beacon. Maybe I can see it from over here if I walk down to the end. We'll go over there and check and see if we can go ahead and get on in and get the truck washed first. And uh, come back around here, wait in line to get our uh, fuel filters changed out. I need to get that wrench so I can change them myself. Provost, he changes his. He even made a video uh, showing how he changes his. So, uh, I can't see. The building's blocking the view. But I can back out and drive around there and see. Just do the old ELD creep. Because we're doing an eight hour break. And uh, I'll be honest with you, we may do more than an eight hour break because I'm thinking from here to where I gotta deliver is only about about an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes away. So I was thinking maybe leave here around six o'clock in the morning and drive on up there, deliver, then drive on up to High Point, get loaded and drive until we just run out of hours. And then we have to shut down and do a break, start back up after midnight, drive on up to How, and uh, hopefully have enough hours to get up there by uh by tuesday afternoon and uh, do our drop and hook there and then start heading back down to auburn georgia so i think we're gonna be okay on hours though come on dad what you doing you can't get in there no all he's got to do is walk around the fence and it, it ends right there where that truck just went by and he could come inside the fence but he don't know that that's that come on buddy so anyway, we're going to get back in the truck, creep around there and see if we can get the truck washed. If we can, we'll try to video it from inside the truck and see what it looks like. All right, so y'all hang around. Don't go nowhere. We'll talk at you in a little while. Oh yeah, get the old girl washed.
I like it. It's a little bit older model, uh, probably somewhere between a 210 and a 212. 2010, 2012, somewhere in there. Nice truck, though. Yeah, we're going to probably park up front somewhere, go inside, take a shower. I think we're just going to stay here till about 6 in the morning and then start heading up that way. Maybe a little bit earlier. And, uh, We'll have plenty of time. We don't have to worry about our 14 hour clock. We have to worry about our 70 hour clock. <laughs> but that's gonna run out way before anything else does. New orientation center. In 700 feet, turn left on Old Federal Road. GA we didn't get a chance to go down there and check it out. It looks pretty cool from here, don't it? Big Landstar sign out front. 145. That's the house number. Well, we made it to our receiver. Ooh, got some bad news. They said, uh, you're our last appointment of the day. This afternoon. <laughs> I looked at him, I'm like, what? <laughs> no, I, I went back and looked at the email and there's nothing about an appointment in the afternoon. So, oh man, I was like, sir, I said, I did not know this. I said, you know, I was told to be here first thing this morning. And uh, I said, I gotta be up at high point before noon. I'm supposed to pick up a load up there. And I am, I'm supposed to pick up a load in high point. I don't know what the cutoff time is. I just said noon because I wanted to try to get it picked up by noon so I could drive some of the way up to where we got to go, try to get up very close, at least close to Withfield and uh, do our break. And uh, after midnight, pick up enough hours to make it on up there. Because right now we're sitting on uh, six hours and 27 minutes and we didn't use another minute the rest of the day come tomorrow we would have 14 hours and 45 minutes which is plenty of time to make it up there to where we gotta deliver at and how and then i think the next day we pick up we only pick up six hours but then the next day we pick up uh nine and a half so uh over the next two days We'll pick up enough hours to make it back down to uh, Auburn by Thursday morning. But uh, anyway, we made it here to the receiver. He said, go ahead and back in door 85, and we'll try to get you worked in and uh, see if we can't get you unloaded. Which I don't understand. There's only one other truck in the dock and me. So I don't understand. You know, there's at least three forklift drivers in there. I don't understand why he can't just go ahead and snatch my stuff off real quick, you know and uh while they're waiting on the next truck to get here you know there's a truck parked over there and i mean there's several trailers in the door uh but they're just drop trailers i mean they're not drivers aren't sitting there waiting on them you know uh i'm guessing this is a cross docking kind of place um ben nor b-e-n-o-r-e logistic systems um they have a lot a lot of trailers and uh they have some decent looking equipment they got the t660s like old pale rider except they're nicer <laughs> no offense pale rider but these are nice man they got the windows in the top of the sleeper and they got the door windows uh with an actual door yeah it's the uh it's like the 72 inch aero cabs um kenworth's uh not a bad truck not bad at all you know i could i could get by with one of those to be honest with you you know um i'd have to cut back on what i carry with me in the truck but yeah it wouldn't be too bad anyway we're gonna go ahead and end the video here um it's monday yay monday <laughs> so uh 
Uh, I don't even know what I was going in this video yet. I, I'll be honest with you. I was gonna try to edit it last night and I fell asleep. And I fell asleep before I had a chance to take Ducky out for a walk. So this morning he was, <laughs> he was wound up ready to get out of this truck. So uh, yeah, we went for a walk yesterday afternoon, you know, around two or three o'clock. And then the next time it's like five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, go ahead and end the video here. Thank y'all so much for uh, liking, commenting, subscribing. If you're not subscribed, if you'll go down below and then hit that little subscribe button and the little bell icon when it pops up, that way you'll be notified when I upload a video. Uh, and I, you know, I've been getting some good comments lately about my videos, so. I appreciate all that, all the good comments and everything every time I get one. If I don't respond to your comment right away, don't get offended or anything. It's just, I, I, it seems like I don't never have time to do hardly nothing. I hardly have time to do any vlogging, it seems like. I've been super busy trying to, you know, trying to make as much as I can before Christmas and before next year, see, see how everything is going to end up going. But, uh, you know, but I do appreciate everybody that participates with my uh, with my YouTube channel. You guys are the best. And I really appreciate it. So it's Monday. You know what you got to do. You got to get up. You got to pour that coffee. Pour up that hot tea. Whatever it is. Whatever beverage you drink in the morning time to get you going. You got to get up. You got to get at it. Cause this week ain't gonna play out by itself. You gotta participate. <laughs> so all you gotta do is uh, don't give up. Don't give up, it's just Monday. You know what you gotta do, huh? You gotta keep punching. <laughs>